What's included in your golf cart solar kit? One solar panel, one charge controller, one Delphi connector extension cable, one Delphi O-ring battery terminal connector, and the mounting hardware. Additional tools you'll need. A drill, zip ties, a drill bit smaller than one eighth of an inch, a Sharpie, an insulated crescent wrench, a nut driver, Phillips head screwdriver, a socket set, a multimeter, and if available, a heat gun. First, place the solar panel on top of the cart with the pigtail connector towards the back, being sure that the panel is square with the roof. Next, use a sharpie and mark where each snap makes contact with the roof, being careful not to move the panel as you do so. Using a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill at each spot that you marked with the sharpie. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take the self-tapping snaps and screw in each new hole. Place the solar panel back on the roof of the cart and snap into place. Connect the 15 foot extension cable to the pigtail connector on the back of the panel, being sure to leave some slack at the top of the cable. Use zip ties or twist ties to run the cable down the roof support to the base of the seat. Run the cable through the foot of the backrest which connects to the body of the cart and pull the excess cable through, placing down by the batteries in the cart. To finish the connector, slip the heat shrink onto the wire. One side of the wire is ribbed. This side will need to be placed into the A portion of the connector and then snapped into place. Pull the heat shrink into place at the top of the connector and begin to shrink the material into place. If you don't have a heat gun available to you, carefully use a lighter to shrink the heat shrink. Gather together the excess cable from the extension cord and twist tie them together to make things a little neater inside the cart. To mount the charge controller to the cart, you'll need the self-tapping hex nut screws and the nut driver. Place the charge controller on the floor of the cart and screw the nuts through the brackets on each side of the charge controller and into the floor until both sides are secure. Locate the master positive battery terminal towards the front and the master negative battery terminal toward the back so that you can connect the O-ring cable to them. The positive side of the O-ring connector is marked with a red piece of heat shrink. Using your socket set, Find the correct size head to fit onto the terminal bolts and remove the nut. Place the positive and negative sides of the o-ring connector to their matching terminal and replace the nut to tighten them back into place. Connect the O-ring cable to the charge controller, and then connect the extension cable from the solar panel to the other end of the charge controller. Replace the seat on your golf cart and you are finished. Take your cart out and enjoy the extra driving range and battery life the PowerFilm Solar Golf Top brings to you with a little help from the sun.